All right, so when you get ready with me, um, I've already primed and moisturized. Not primed, but moisturized my face. I don't know how I feel about this being, you know, a primer. I don't think it smells okay. Um, I don't think it's going to give me the desired effect, but it seems to be smoothing. So I don't know, we'll see. It feels pretty good. It's supposed to give your skin freaking crap here. This is what I hate. They should have gave this one with a little dropper too or something. Um, I'm gonna avoid my nose. Good, how ridiculous. Um, but yeah, I'm looking over your hair, sorry. Um, I moved it over. Jeez, okay. So, you know, it feels okay so far. And it does feel very, you know, primary. I want this on my skin and soak in and stuff while I do my eyes. But I just hope that this, you know, the fine line situation is good. This is actually really nice. I might invest in this. And this is just first impression so let's get into it this is gonna go really fast but this is a get ready with me but i thought i'd do a voiceover to just you know talk to you guys a little bit i'm adding i heart stage as my base i'll have everything linked below i did prime my eyes beforehand with elizabeth mott thank me later primer which i love if you have oily eyelids it's a godsend because nothing creases on my eyes anymore since i started using that so, yeah. So about now I'm adding brown script, I believe, into my crease. For sure everything will be below. I know I just said that, but yeah. Right now I can't really completely think of it. Now I'm going to blend it out and I'm going to go into adding um, brown script. So I did soft brown first and then I'm going to add brown script to deepen it up. Um, I've been doing this look like almost... This has been my go-to look for uh, quite some time. I have to stop saying fur. Like, I don't know why I'm saying fur instead of four. I don't know why I do that for quite some time. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's my fault. And this is just a, like, um, a dupe for Max blue-black pigment. I know it doesn't look like that in the light, but it does reflect blue. Blue-brown pigment. I'm sorry. It does reflect blue and brown. It's from the Wet n' Wild Comfort Zone palette. And here I think I'm looking at Netflix. I'm deepening up the crease either with uh, a MAC eyeshadow or Deep Plum in the Amrezi palette. So it's one of those two. They're fairly similar. If it's the MAC one, I'm pretty sure it might be the MAC though. Nope, it's Deep Plum because I like that one better. It enhances the, orange, the ready tone. Um, I did not show me putting on my eyeliner because I can't see, so I have to get really close to the mirror, <laughs> so you aren't going to see anything anyway, and I was concealing, not concealing, correcting with Bobbi Brown's corrector in Dark Peach, and now I'm using Maybelline's um, foundation, the Fit Me in the Matte and Poreless, and I believe the shade is classic tan which to be honest is not what i thought i thought it'd be lighter but it's lighter than the one i used to use but it has more orangey tones in it but because i usually set my face with max um studio fix and nc43 it kind of balances it balances it out and a highlighter makes it okay Okay, so I'm highlighting, well, concealing with uh, Rimmel's Wake Me Up Concealer in shade medium. And then I'm going to blow out underneath my eye with brown script again. But I'm also going to set this with NYX HD setting powder or whatever in, what is this, banana? Uh, I don't love it, I don't hate it. It's just a little bit more white than I would have liked instead of yellow. I'm just gonna blend out some things. I don't really hate it. I haven't been contouring recently, but I do bronze up my skin with a foundation from Sue Devette. It's called Kimberly Plateau. And I'm highlighting with Wet n Wild's new color ombre, color icon ombre blush in Mai Tai by Hue Drink. It's okay, but it's not really highlighty. And I'm just taking the powderiness out of my face and that'll be down below. Hey, hi guys. I'm going to show you what I'm wearing on my lips because I don't know if I do my makeup weirdly. Er, 
I do my makeup in a weird process, but I don't put on lips until I have on my clothes. And to get ready with me, so I obviously don't have on my clothes before I put on my makeup. I just don't. I don't want to get it on my clothes, so I just rather not. I don't know. I'm weird. I don't know. That's whatever. It's just what I do. Using Face Stockholm Cosmetics. Cosmetics? Cosmetics. <clears throat> Face Stockholm Cosmetics. And the shade Yvonne, which is just like a burnt sienna rusty brown shade. And on top of that, I'm using Pacifica's lipstick. This is their Mineral, Natural Minerals Power of Love lipstick, which I love so much. The shade is called Sweet One and it's affordable and it's this kind of muted deep brown 90s shade everybody's in love with. But I'm wearing Lolita. Um, what was I going to say about this? Uh, I use it on top of that because it makes it last longer and it doesn't dry as bad. I'm sorry for the light. I'm using natural light as well as a light here. But yeah, that is it. That's what I'm wearing. And yeah, that's this is like my favorite lip combo as of the last couple months, honestly. So yes, thank you guys for watching.